Hi, what's up YouTube? This is uh, another, um, what's it called? Deck feature. Deck feature. <laughs> Deck profile. Yeah. I came up with like last night with some other girl. Uh, so. Her, her name is, uh, what, uh, Kiyosha, so if, if anything, she doesn't want to, you know, join <laughs> our team. So guys, just leave some comments and bitching about it, say you want some booty on the team. And, uh, 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 and she'll probably join <laughs> 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 so he had the deck, deck profile here. It's um. What do you call it? It's a I don't know. It's a weird mix of light swarms with the uh, Christia and um and a uh, dandelion and like flame bells. but yeah. it works out pretty well. It's good. All right. Um, we got two magicians here. I mean two two. All right, let's see. Let's see balls. We got two judgment dragons. Mm -hmm. Right. Two. They could be anything, OT or secret, whatever. <laughs> uh, we have one Christia. Christia um, at two is pretty bad for this deck since, I don't know, it just doesn't work out with two. One is just perfect. You have two Celestias, right? Two Honest, because it's at two. Uh, Wolf, you play two. You don't need that many Tribute Fighters. Uh, I mean, you don't have that many Tribute Fighters, so you don't really need Wolf that much. Um, and plus, it's really bad to draw at this format. Two alchemists, dimensional alchemists, to uh, remove stuff like JD, like luck. If you get luck, lucky and you hit JD or something, you add it to your hand. Or like if your opponent goes bottomless, and you could set this and get the monster that they bottomless, for example, a JD or whatever. And then uh, two magicians for synchroing. Um, you mill them and then you go rekindling. It's a good card. Those of you who's like, why don't you play? Play flame on fire dogs. Yeah, why don't you? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make sense because if you mill them, you won't be having any effect to use in the first place. So, uh, I think best thing to do is use the magicians and mill them, because the fire dogs milling them is just pointless. And then Rikos is um for like cards like roll oppressions that stop you. Um, like they would activate it. Like I play roll oppression, but you activate your roll oppression at a good time. So if you're a good player, you'll know when to activate it. <laughs> Um, then you have Gareth, um, one Gareth and one uh, Lumino. Kind of a staple. Yeah, it's kind of a staple, but this format you don't really draw with Gareth that much as you used the last format. And Lumino's at one, that's why. Then you have uh, Aaron. It's for all those, um, what do I say? Uh, some, some, some decks like uh, Infernities that set man monsters and shit. Yeah. And some monarchs with like. Uh, and then some quick draws, quick draws with like dandelion and shit. Kick that shit back to the deck. Uh, then I play one dandelion. <laughs> uh, dandelion is uh, you mill it and you get the effect on uh, two tokens, which you can use for uh, magicians or whatever, um, or like uh, you'd have it set or something. Synchro with plague or something, or um, you discard with Trigodia, match shit. You could do a lot of stuff with it. Mill it with Card Trooper too. Um, then I play Plague Spreader, which is a staple for this deck, because you don't really have that many tuners. So you only have three tuners in here. The plague is good. Trigodia is for dumping stuff like Magician from your hand, stealing your opponent's monsters, um, like their fire dogs. So dump Magician, get their fire dog, attack, get your Magician, synchro, mad shit. And then you have Arcus, stops like any mind controls or like brain controls and stuff. From um, uh, your opponent stealing your light swarms. Necrogarna has a staple at one. I think at one is a good idea, and they hit it at one, so now people have to play it at one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good, it's a good card. Card Trooper because uh, you need that extra draw, draw power, and you need to mill. So I think it's a good card. Solar Recharge staple. Charge is a staple. Foolish Burial for that magician and like. Neko Garna, Plague, and Dandelion, a lot of shit. Um, Lightning Vortex for like all the stuff you need in the grave. Or like you Lightning, like some people with Lightning Vortex and pay their Honest as a cost and then go Christia. So that works out. Monster Reincarnation, bring back a monster from your graveyard, obviously. Rekindling for the two magicians I play. You don't really need it, you don't have to play it, but I like it. And then you have. Um, a heavy Storm, MST Staple, Beckoning Lights, which um I like with the, um, what's, what's the shit, Christia, JD, and um, Honest, and Alchemist, Man Broke. Um, Boundless, 
Um, people don't want to play it this format, especially in light storms, because you can mill it. But I think if you mill it, you don't have to worry about playing it. So either way, it works out. <laughs> well, oppression, stop your opponent's uh, quick draws and infernities and all that crap. Starlight Road. Um, I don't know. I think it's it's a good card. Good format. Yeah, you just have it face down with the roll of pressure face up or a bombless face down. And they try to heavy activate that shit, OTK them. And then you have dust tornadoes to stop the backfield cards. A lot of people. Out. Yeah, a lot of people are set now. They especially dust their shit so they can't dust your oppression. <laughs> and then you have uh, synchros. You could actually you could play any synchros you want. Light gazer. Yeah, light gazer is good for this deck. Um, Mistworm is perfect for this deck. Man broke. Um, Colossal Fighters and whatever. Actually, the side deck and the uh, uh, synchro deck is up to your liking. So yeah, that's the deck feature. Um, subscribe to us and uh, yeah, we'll give you a shout out, whatever, if you're like good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it.